Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to make a simple fish stew that can be served with steamed rice or pasta. There is a variation to this dish. You can add shrimp, mussels, clams or scallops. If adding shellfish, add it a couple minutes before the fish because they need more time to cook and open. I have two pounds of assorted fish cut into two inch cubes. I'm using Atlantic cod and Sakai salmon. For spices and herbs, I chose the ones that work best with the fish. I have one tablespoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of Aleppo pepper, one bay leaf, and I'm gonna use some fresh oregano. You can use the dry oregano if you don't have a fresh one. But the fresh one we're gonna use at the end just to flavor the broth. Now we're gonna do some prep work. And you know that every stew pretty much starts with the onion. So I have one large onion and we're gonna dice it into little cubes. We will need two medium carrots or one large one, shred it. Two tablespoons of tomato paste and that's what's gonna give our sauce a little bit more body. I like to buy the one in a tube. One 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes and I like to blend them. Six ounce jar of capers. We're gonna use capers, but you can also use green olives with brine. And yes, we are going for the wine here. I'm gonna add a half a cup of white wine. The function of white wine in cooking is to intensify, enhance, and accent the flavor and aroma of the food. To bring out the brightness to this dish, in appearances and also in flavor, we're gonna add some fresh parsley. So I have a one small bunch of fresh parsley, I'm just gonna chop it roughly. Since our dish is all tomato based, here's the secret ingredient. Tomatoes are very acidic, so they can cause some digestive issues. So you can reduce the acidity of tomatoes by adding some baking soda or any type of dairy product. In my case, I am using two tablespoons of butter. And I have two cups of water here. You can use less or more depending on the size of your pot and the amount of fish you're using. We're gonna start making our dish by heating up two tablespoons of olive oil. Then add your onion and saute it until it's translucent and slightly browned. Then add a shredded carrots and saute those together until the carrots just slightly soften. Just like that. Then reduce the heat just a little bit and add tomato paste. Tomato paste is used to thicken, color and enrich the flavor of tomato based sauces. Then add your blended diced tomatoes and mix it around and that should help to distribute our tomato paste evenly in the sauce and also thicken it up. Add all the spices except bay leaf and oregano. We're gonna mix it around and we're gonna let it cook for just five minutes. After that, we're gonna add our white wine. I'm just gonna mix that around and cook it for two to three minutes until the alcohol will evaporate. Then add capers with brine. I have about half a cup of capers with brine. And then we're gonna add enough water so we can poach our fish. So I added about two cups of water. Close the lid slightly and simmer it for 10 minutes so all the flavors can come together. Now we're ready to add the fish to our sauce and remember that the fish gets rather poached in the sauce than cooked, so keep your heat low. Add two branches of fresh oregano and one bay leaf 
and those can be fished out later and discarded after the stew is done. We also gonna add our chopped parsley. Then close the lid and simmer it on low for 15 to 20 minutes until the fish is done. And look at this, it is done. We just need to add our secret ingredient to thicken the sauce and to cut that acidity in the sauce, which is our butter. So at this point, we're gonna turn off the heat completely and we're gonna dissolve the butter in it. And here it is, it's gone. And as you can see, the sauce is gonna get a little bit cloudy because of the butter. We're just gonna taste it, adjust the seasoning to our taste and we're ready to serve. Fish stew can be enjoyed as is with some crusty bread, but I'm gonna serve it with some steamed rice. Neutral flavor of the rice can help us to balance the flavor in this dish and also the richness. And as you can see, the fish is completely done and the sauce is simply delicious. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!